UK Open Relationships The subject has traditionally been very taboo in many places, including the US, where Winston is based. In 2014, when she started the Multiamory podcast, she and her co-producers had to decide whether to use their real names on the ethnical non-monogamy show. At that point, there was pretty much only one or two other podcasts actually broaching this subject, says the dating coach. And the people who were producing and hosting those podcasts used pseudonyms. But things have changed. Around 2016, Winston noticed a real explosion of interest around non-monogamy, about a year after she started work as a dating coach specializing in those types of relationships. That was when I feel like I saw the biggest turning point, of all of a sudden so many people online being willing to talk about being non-monogamous, she says, and to express the fact that they have an interest in these sorts of things. Sarah Levinson, a counselor at Creative Relating Psychology Psychotherapy in New York City, who specializes in sexuality and relationship dynamics, has also noticed an increasing interest in open relationships within the past decade. It was much more obscure 10 years ago, and now it's incredibly common, she says. These accounts as well as some data show a growing interest in consensually non-monogamous relationships, including open relationships. Experts say many societal and cultural factors that have led to a wider embrace of non-traditional relationship styles, and the pandemic may even be playing a part. But while interest in open relationships may be climbing, Experts are mixed on how wide their uptake may actually be, at least for right now. Free passes and swinging. There are many ways to engage in non monogamy, says Levinson. It could be anything from living with multiple partners and sharing finances, or it could be supporting your partner and once a year having a free pass at a work conference out of state to have a hookup. Open relationships fall under the non monogamy umbrella but many tend to differentiate between those types of arrangements and other types of non-monogamy, like polyamory. Polyamory often means participating in multiple intimate partnerships, while open relationships are more often associated with people engaging in primarily sexual relationships outside of their prioritized, two-person partnership. In other words, open relationships are less focused on emotional connections with people outside a primary relationship, and more on sexual ones.